we are doing the lab number eight now okay so this is the the implementing continuous integration with the github action we are going to this lab and you can see here we are going to implement this using our devops starter kit so there is something called devops starter which is available into the azure portal we are going to use that devops starter to implement a github action okay so if you look at this lab basically this is going to create a something called .NET code website okay using a, a build and deploy which we are going to do using a devops start so this is uh, uh, we can go to the azure dot portal and there is a something services called devops starter into azure so i'm going to the azure portal here okay go to the portal dot azure dot com and look for something called devops starter okay and this is a service which is going to help us to create a devops action okay into the azure okay so we are going to use a devops starter once you click on devops starter basically you can click on the create button okay and once you create click on create button we are going to uh, develop a, a, a code okay so we are going to select here something called okay so you have to go here github so we are not going to use directly here basically we need to click on this one okay the github yeah so you need to click here and select the github okay once you select a github so we can see the can, can you can look at this this azure devops is also available and github is also available so we are basically going to use github and you click on done okay and make sure you select up uh, something called asp.net framework here so that is a dotnet code which we are going to do okay so the dotnet framework which we are going to do it here and click on next we are going to use a sp.net core okay we are selecting isp.net core then we click on next okay now we are going to select a windows web app okay so we are going to deploy into the windows web app okay and then you click on next It's asking me to select a repository. Okay. Click on authorize button. Okay. You can see here it is asking me the GitHub URL. Okay. So this is my GitHub profile. Actually, if you look at here, this is my GitHub profile, which is there. Okay. So it has been authenticated with my GitHub profile. Okay. And it is asking me which repository, which subscription, what you have over there to build it here. I am going to select my subscription here okay your repository name oh, what is the repository name i have to give you is to use location this is the web app name so let me copy the So here we are there. So devops starter. So we have selected a GitHub. We went to the .NET framework, ASP.NET Core, uh, Windows Web App, and select a repository, devops starter bit, and click on authorize. Once you click on authorize, you will be asked for the few details, name of your GitHub. It's asking me repository name. Okay, let me give the repository name uh, similar to this. Okay, and subscription web app name okay so web app name i can give it a unique name okay and the location and that's what we are going to do here and once it's already exists web app name okay so this is not the web app name so web app name should be unique so i'm giving me the web app 22 june to make it unique okay hopefully it will be unique yeah Next, you have a pricing tier. You are actually you are deploying a web app, so you can select a pricing tier as well here. So if you want, okay. Uh, 
then you can click on something called a uh, review and create so that's what on the okay so then create Now this is deployment is in progress. So basically, we are provisioning a uh, something a resource which is called uh, uh, your DevOps starter kit. So we are just deploying a DevOps starter kit, and we are going to use this DevOps starter kit to trigger our uh, GitHub action. Okay, so that's what we are trying to do here. It will take a little bit of time here. Okay, so it's done already. So that's what we are doing, doing here. Uh, let me show you again the lab. So this things I have done, and then you can go ahead and submit. So this will create a uh, this 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 will create a DevOps starter kit into Azure. Now you go to the resources. Okay, so that's what we are going. Go to the resources into this blade, and onto the GitHub workflow. Click on authorize. So once you are there in the GitHub, this DevOps starter kit. Okay, click on authorize button. Okay, once you authorize that, you can see here the build and deployment is, is, is running here. Okay, so that's what you can go ahead and, and uh, look at this build and release workflow here inside. Okay, so the build is happening, release is happening. So all those things you will be able to see using the, the something called DevOps starter kit. Okay. Okay, so if you click here, it will take you to the to the uh, something called uh, GitHub action. So this is the GitHub action. So you can see here this is taking me to the GitHub action, and you can see this build has been completed. Now deployment is starting. So it is trying to do a uh, build and release uh, uh, doing the uh, your application deployment, a .NET Core deployment into the uh, into the system. Okay. And even you can go to the settings here. You can go ahead and store your secrets. You can look at these secrets and you can go ahead and add some credential here. Okay. New repository secrets, which you'll be able to add. So those things you can go ahead and create here. I'll show you one more uh, option actually here. Okay. So this is what you can go ahead and look at this one. Or uh, anything else we have in this lab? Uh, Okay, so you can review the review the result okay so it's asking me just you can go ahead and review those result and you can look at the website workflow application arm templates yeah this plate click on the git repository You can see here this is what its its repositories are okay so here you have repository this is the master branch okay you can see here the github action workflow is there application is there arm template is there this is the arm template is going to use, you use the to deploy the application okay so this is using arm template we'll talk about arm template when we when we talk about the infrastructure services the arm template we have this application .NET code application is there okay this is your git workflow uh, workflow uh, yaml file is there so this is the pipeline uh, we can say the the yaml script which is there so it's a step by step script how to run a build how to do a deployment you can see here the deployment stage is there okay top you will be having a build stage so build stage is there okay you have a resource group and all those values are there okay so it's 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 quite simple and uh, uh, you can use a similar way which which you are using it okay so the deployment is in progress you can have this you can see the website is getting created okay and this website is running and if i browse this website i'll be able to see my uh, my recent deployment which is done using a deployment pipeline okay so you'll be able to see
I wasted my time. Something to construction. So deployment is in progress, I guess. Oh, it's running the functional test, I guess. Okay, so yeah, it, after deployment, you can run the functional test as well. You can see the functional test is running. Okay, so that what talks about this uh, uh, Azure DevOps starter kit. Okay, uh, I'll show you one more example. You can see this, this website has been deployed. Okay, so that way you'll be able to see it here.